Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support in this reading. Um, we're gonna find out who, how and when is your next serious relationship and this is a collective reading for Air Signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same air sign. Let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me four air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, their next serious relationship. chariot in reverse at the bottom of the deck i don't know why i'm getting this message air signs but there are a few different scenarios to state what resonates with you for those of you if you're currently connected with like a someone who is married because we've got the higher fund here if you're connected to someone who is married and has somebody else or if you're involved in a third party situation your next serious relationship will be with that person okay because the higher fund can indicate a commitment can indicate a marriage again you might end up marrying this person because this person is going to make a choice with the two of pentacles and seven cups here to let go of the the third party okay whether it's a third third party as the other woman or the other man or could be the wife or the husband okay just take what resonates with you uh, for the rest of you, air signs, I feel like with the Hierophant here being a major arcana, <laughs> this is somebody also, air signs. For some of you, maybe you've already met this person, some of you haven't yet. If you haven't met this person yet, then it may not resonate. It may not resonate with you, okay? So the Emperor in reverse, King of Wands in reverse, it does feel like, hmm, this is somebody who used to be a player or who doesn't believe in marriage. Um... I definitely see this person could have been a player. Yeah, two of pentacles. This person um, may be juggling two person at the same time. And the seven of cups here have a lot of options. So they're not in a hurry to settle down. But the higher fun here gives us some hope. Okay, some hope that maybe this person is going to change. Because it's a major kind of so it indicates change. And the hermit here is in reverse. So this person might come out of their way of thinking in the past or the way they used to be in the past and make these changes. And with the nine of swords and reverse, three of pentacles and reverse, I still I still get this energy where this is somebody whom is going to let go of all of their other options, or it could be uh, their marriage, let go of their marriage, or let go of the other woman or the other man to be with you, okay? Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't feel like this is going to be somebody whom is easy to be tame. This is not somebody I think is really willing to settle down. But I feel like eventually they will because of the higher fund here. So both of you will make a pact. I feel like both of you will um, talk about marriage or talk about taking things to the next level, okay? And for some of you, it could be somebody as well where uh, maybe stopping you from moving on, moving away from them, and then finally promising you or finally committing to you, okay? Um, that's for some of you. If this is someone you haven't met yet, Air Signs, I feel like this person could be a divorcee or somebody who is jaded when it comes to love in general and also this is somebody i feel could be highly spiritual or could be religious i would say it's, a, it's a, this person is a good person this person has a lot on their plate they work a lot but they may be a little bit bossy or the king of wands in reverse maybe they have a bit of a temper okay mm-hmm or that you may actually meet this person in church or somewhere spiritual, okay? Or because um, the higher fund can indicate higher learning as well. 
So maybe in a university, university, college, or wherever that you are learning something, okay? Could be in a class for some of you, if you're still studying. And we've got the moon here, eight of pentacles in reverse, we've got ace of swords, the fool in reverse, the devil and the chariot in reverse, and we've got the five of wands here. I don't know why, air signs, I feel like your next your person whom you're going to be in your next serious relationship with this is somebody whom is very used to getting things their way they're used to being admired they're used to um people wanting them they're used to having all kinds of options i feel like both of you may go through like a breakup first i like one ending one breakup a brief breakup and then possibly we'll come back together Mm, the moon can indicate again this person may, may be quite moody <laughs> a very moody person okay not a very easy person to deal with okay this is what i'm getting here this person may not be a perfect person they may have demons inside of them with the devil here strong strong demon not just you know small things i feel like they could be going through some issues um or it could could have depression or some sort of addiction and whatnot or really bad past or trauma um that could be that could turn them into who they are right now but somehow i feel like with the ace of swords here this person may cut out all of these maybe it could be doubts depression it, it is it's a work in progress because we've got the eight of pentacles here in reverse so i'm gonna tell you this air signs this is somebody who has been to to see a therapist who has been to uh, rehab or became religious because of their very very colorful past okay um i definitely see this person has a very very colorful past um argue, arguments drama in their life and we've got the fool here in reverse they have made many mistakes in their life they've been foolish in their life and i feel like they are working on themselves uh some of you again maybe you've already met this person some of you haven't yet so i definitely see this person uh working on themselves um this is someone who is constantly battling certain addiction or certain demons inside of them and they have become more spiritual and religious because they're trying to beat this devil here okay you're gonna be in a relationship with this person but i do see them beating uh their demons because of the ace of swords here because with the wrist and then with the crown here indicates success but i'm gonna say this though air science is not gonna be easy it's not gonna be easy at all it takes a lot of work takes a lot of determination takes a lot of faith for this person to change or for both of you to come together with Hierophant here and take the relationship to the next level. Okay, let's see more. But the devil can also indicate that both of you may, may have really, really good sex together, okay? Very good sex together and both of you may like the same kind of thing in bed. And we've got a page of cups here. We've got the judgment again with the five of wands. See, so this person I feel it could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, it could be an Aries, could be a Leo, Sagittarius, strong fire I'm getting here in Capricorn, Virgo, can be any sign, but definitely strong Aries I'm seeing here. And the judgment here indicates that for some of you, you're going to break up with this person at least one time before you get back together and then... I feel like again there'll be a lot of, uh, of issues within the connection or within this person itself but it feels like the sex is so good that both of you will come back together <laughs> each and every time five of wands both of you will have a lot of disagreements arguments or already have if this is this is somebody you've already met but they will always apologize to you. They will always try and make things right with you. Or you will always make things right with them. The false sword TM of his candy kit. Maybe this person is somebody quite antsy. Thinking a lot. Overthinking. Um, or this person is going to be stressing you out quite a bit. 
because of the way they communicate or certain things that you don't quite understand or that they could go cold towards you and becoming you know like silent because the moon can get silence and not talk to you for a day or two or that you know um, or that the way they communicate with you is just really cold okay but I feel like this is this person is gonna be your next serious relationship. It could turn into a marriage because of the hierophant here, or that both of you will eventually agree. But it's definitely a work in progress with the eight of pentacles here in reverse. I feel like some of you might think about you might end up thinking, you know, I'm I I should give up on this on this connection. <laughs> and maybe at one point in time you will give up on this connection. But I do see both of you coming back together because of the judgment here, okay? Air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with two, no, three playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the other two playlists have all of the readings that are done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant because I post them almost every single day. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care, Earth Signs. Bye.